Welcome to episode 3 of the Biology of Who, What, and So show. Today we're going to be looking at the biology of the wide mouth zombie. The wide mouth zombie. Wide mouth zombies are the most dangerous type of zombie known to people right now. Smart enough to hold people down as they eat them alive. Typically, these zombies are in large groups. Some would even say massive groups of somewhere between 13 and 15 members in one group alone. And typically, the sewers will hold multiple groups of these terrifying and yet dangerous creatures. They're also very strong, able to take in an immense amount of damage thanks to their lack of internal organs. They're also able to take an extensive amount of damage, able to hold most of their own, thanks to the fact that their strong arm muscles can help them get through any problem, their large, jagged teeth help tear through flesh, and their lack of internal organs helps protect them from death, but also prevents them from living long lives, which is why they need to spread quickly, which is why they've involved such large mouths to spread as fast as humanly possible, with also staying and keeping away all internal organs, or at least most internal organs. They will also work with other monsters to take down large or extensively dangerous foes, such as humans. They will hunt down you in packs, and in the sewers where it's dark, they have extensive vision that helps them see in the dark just as well as any other cat or animal could. This is the end of the biology of the Wide Mouth Zombie documentary. Thank you for watching episode 3 of the Biology of the Who, What, and So show. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please consider subscribing. Trust me, we need it.